Good morning, guys, and welcome to another edition of Lexington yeah. Water Cooler News. My name is Rock Daniels. Today is Wednesday, March the 1st, 2023. Welcome to another day. All right, in weather today, partly cloudy skies this morning. They're going to become overcast in the afternoon with a possibility of a slight shower. So here we're going to have a beautiful, beautiful day, 77 degrees Winds are gonna be between 10 and 20 miles an hour. So maybe it's a great day. Get out there with your kid, fly a kite, do something fun. The sun's gonna rise at 7.10 this morning. It's gonna set at 6.31 p.m. today. Now during Tuesday's Lexington Fayette Urban County Council work session, the use of flock cameras or these license plate readers were discussed. The Lexington Police Department Sergeant Tyson Carroll provided a list of things the readers are not used for, including speed or red light enforcement, targeted enforcement in neighborhoods, and evaluation based on patterns of reported calls for service for violent crimes throughout Fayette County. Carroll noted that the LPRs, or these flock cameras, have helped recover 129 stolen vehicles, 15 missing people, and 45 firearms. However, First District Council Member Tanya Fogel expressed concerns about the presentation, implying approval from the NAACP and ACLU, to which the Chief of Police, Lawrence Weathers, responded that they did consult with them, but they did not gather information based on council districts. Now, the police department in Lexington is facing staffing shortages with only seven recruits in the police academy to fill 125 officer vacancies due to retirement and other officers leaving to other departments. Despite this, Council Member Whitney Baxter believes that this investment that we're having with the LPRs and flock counter cameras can keep our children safe. All right. Detective Ryan Racker from the Lexington Police Department has been arrested and charged with second degree criminal abuse of a child 12 or under in Estill County. Uh, Kentucky State Police made the arrest based on a warrant issued by the Estill County Sheriff's Office and Racker 39 is currently being held at Three Forks Regional Jail in Lee County. Lexington Police have relieved him of sworn duties and transferred him to an administrative assignment in accordance with department policy while the incident is under review. The indictment against Racker was issued on Friday as per online court records. Now, a sculpture on honoring Breonna Taylor by artist Kipto Taurus was unveiled by LexArts at the Met in Lexington on Tuesday. The piece is called At the Clearing, was inspired by Toni Morrison's beloved and was meant to be a visual celebration of life and a reminder to reflect on the loss of Taylor who was fatally shot by Louisville police in her home nearly three years ago. Taurus said he is excited about the artwork, which is designed to be outside, and Mayor Linda Gordon called it magnificent. The sculpture can be viewed at the Met on Midland Avenue and East 3rd Street in downtown Lexington, Kentucky. Now, postal workers across the country are being targeted by criminals who seek their arrow key, which can give access to any mailbox in the region to initiate check fraud schemes. Now in Lexington, a mail carrier was robbed at gunpoint in January and the crime syndicate behind the fraud often orders such robberies. Now, check fraud has become a profitable business for gangs as they use their social media and homeless shelters to find people to cash the stolen checks. The central bank recorded its worst year ever in 2022 and experts call for collaboration to help combat this problem. Now, Republican candidate for Kentucky Governor Agricultural Commissioner Ryan Quarles has announced plans to legalize medical marijuana in his first year in office. If elected, Quarles has pledged to introduce a farm-focused plan that would help put legal hemp growing farmers at the center of the program. He also plans to ensure medical marijuana is not taxed and that the decision and discussion should be between the patient and their doctor. So Quarles believes that his proposal, which aims to benefit Kentucky farmers and business leaders, will appeal to the majority of Kentuckians who support medical marijuana. I do believe that the majority of Kentuckians do. Now, well, that does it for another edition of Lexington Water Cooler News with me, Rock Daniels, the Bluegrass Realtor. So join me again tomorrow for all your latest news, weather, and sports. Thank you so much for stopping by today.